Hello everyone, I'm Lou Del Monte and welcome to Del Monte on Science. Today I'm going to discuss the universe's accelerated expansion. And not just about the expansion, but I'm going to present some new material to explain why I believe the universe is expanding. Now let's, let's actually start off with the history. In 1929, Edwin Hubble discovered using the Hooker telescope, which was at that time the most powerful telescope in existence, 1929, he discovers that the universe is expanding. And in addition, it's not only expanding, now this, this was a revolution in 1929, because even Einstein believed, and the scientific community believed, that the universe in, was eternal, it was static, it always was and always will be. It wasn't expanding, it wasn't contracting, it just was. And Hubble looks at using the Hooker telescope and he finds out that the universe is expanding and that the velocity of expansion is a function of the distance that, that a galaxy is away from us. The further the galaxy is away, this is B, this is called the proper distance. Okay. And I'll explain that in a moment. The further a galaxy is away, the faster it's, it's moving away from us. And this, this constant, h sub zero, is the Hubble constant. Now, what is proper distance? Proper distance is the measurement of how far the galaxy is from us at an instant in time. Because a little bit later, it'll be a little bit further away. So this is the proper distance. It's an instant in time. Now, this caused a lot of changes. Einstein had to revise his special theory of relativity and he took out the cosmological constant because he had put that in to, to arbitrarily to predict a static universe because he believed the universe was static. And now science embraced the whole idea that the universe was expanding. But another idea crept in, and that was that, well, it's expanding, that's true, we can see that, but eventually what's going to happen is that gravity is going to overtake the expansion and in effect it's going to pull everything back in. It's going to slow down the expansion and pull everything back in and when it does that we're going to have what's called the big crunch. So the, up until 1998 so we're really only talking 15 years ago. 1998, everybody believed that eventually gravity was going to overtake the expansion, pull everything back in, you get the big crunch, and you would, in effect, pull it all back to this high energy density point, and then you would probably start over again with an oscillating universe. So three scientists, Sol Palmer, Mutter, Pearl Mutter, Brian Schmidt and Adam Reese decided in 1998 to measure how much gravity was slowing down the expansion of the universe. So in 1998, these three scientists measure it. And they find that, well, not only is the universe expanding, but it's the expansion, the expansion is accelerating. So in 1998, these three scientists find out that the, that the uh, universe, the expansion of the universe, is not slowing down, but it's actually accelerating. And this, again, it, it turns the scientific world on its ear. And essentially, a lot of scientists had to get involved and take a look at it. And, and today, it's been actually confirmed by the Hubble telescope that this is true, uh, this changed a lot of thinking. And in 2011, 
this will give you some idea of how profound this discovery was. In 2011, uh, these three scientists won the Nobel Prize. So they, they win the Nobel Prize for the discovery for the discovery that the universe, the expansion of the universe, is accelerating. So now, what does science do? Well, there's a high belief in science, in the belief of cause and effect. If it's accelerating, then something is causing it to accelerate. But they don't know what it is. But they, they name it. Nonetheless, even though they don't know what's causing the expansion, they give it a name. They call it dark energy. Now, it's a sinister sounding name. And they think of it as some kind of a vacuum force. And so they call it dark energy, they think of it as a vacuum force, and they say this is causing the expansion. But literally, they have not been able to explain what is causing the expansion. They, there's a high confidence that the discovery is correct. There's a high confidence that the that, uh, distant galaxies are moving away from us. In some cases, the belief is they're actually ex exceeding the speed of light, and they're expanding away from us at that speed. In the next video post, I'm going to present some data as to what's actually occurring.